Hey guys, welcome back once again. In today's session, we're going to discuss about the chapter number 40, that is limits, which is a part of algebra MSAT achieve math test. So here I'm going to brief you about the possible type of questions, what can be tested on MSAT math. And I already uploaded the videos on the other topics. If you have not watched those, please follow the link given in the description box below and watch that. And also do like, share, subscribe to my channel so that whenever I upload a new videos, you will be notified. All right. So let's start with the chapter number 40, limits. Chapter number 14, limits. Limit is the first part to understand calculus and it is the basic or the foundation for the calculus. Based on this only, you will be studying about the differentiation, integration and their applications. So what are the possible ways the questions can be asked on limits? I try to cover up in this session. The first question here is about the graph of the given function. It says the graph of the function f is shown below. Identify the number of values of x in the open interval where the f is discontinuous. For what are the input values of x? The given function is discontinuous in the open interval from negative 4 to positive 4. This is very important. Rather than checking the discontinuity for the whole uh, graph, you have to look at only in the given range. So where is negative 4? Negative 4 is here. That is negative 4 is here. They are asking us in the open interval from negative 4 to positive 4 here. How many discontinuities are there? So what does the discontinuity is? You might be studied in the school. Discontinuity is the point where the function start somewhere else. For the same input, it jumps or from the one point to the other point and start somewhere else. For example, here at x equals to negative 3, the function has jumped from one point to another and it's going somewhere else. This kind of discontinuity is called jump discontinuity. There is a one discontinuity here and I can also see that at x equals to positive 3, there is a hole in the function. So that is this kind of discontinuity is called removable. So in the interval of negative 4 to positive 4, there are two discontinuities there. At the two values of x, the function has discontinuity. So we go with option B, that is 2. Question number 2 here is, limit x approaches to 6 plus, an, a rational expression has been given to us. What does that 6 plus is representing? This is talking about a right hand limit. We are approaching towards the 6 from the right side, but how do I work out? While substituting in the rational expression, I need to substitute that 6, 6 only because we don't have an option to put 6 plus or 6 minus and so on. After substitution, what value you get, what result you get accordingly, we'll choose an option. So let's substitute that x as 6 here and see. So it's going to be 6 plus 2 divided by 6 square minus 4 times 6 minus 12. So what I'm going to get here, 6 plus 2 is going to be 8. If you put it as 6 square minus 4 times 6 minus 12, 6 square is 36, minus 4 times 6 is going to be minus 24 minus 12. So that gives us as 8 divided by 36 minus 36. So it's going to be 8 divided by 0. But as we say that the limit is approaching from the right side, I generally write it as 0 plus. 0 plus means we are slight right side of the zero it's a some positive value and we also know any number divided by zero generally we say it as undefined but in the limit we say any number divided by zero is going to be infinity and as we can see that any number divided by zero plus the result should go it as positive infinity and that's we go with option c whether it is infinity or positive you might get a situation where the denominator may be like, you know, zero minus when it is a left hand limit, for example, they say limit x approaches to six minus on that. So they might write it something like limit x approaches to six minus the same situation could occur it as eight divided by zero minus because it's getting zero, but it is slight left side of the zero. So I take it as zero minus any number divided by zero is infinity. Because we are approaching from the left side, we get it as negative infinity. But this is not the case of the question what they are asking. The question asked us on this part for the 0 plus. So I should go with option C. Question number 3 here is, 
let f be the function shown below this type of functions are called piecewise functions which of the following statement is are true the first statement regarding that one is limit x approaches to 2 f of x exists when do i say that the first statement is to be true only when the left hand limit and the right hand limits are equal so how do we check it up say limit x approaches to 2 minus f of x what type of equation i'm going to use for this according to the piecewise function use x square minus 4 by x minus 2 for all the values of x which are not exactly equal to 2 2 minus means we are so the meaning of which is less than 2 so slight less than 2 for that i'll be using the equation here it has x square minus 4 by x minus 2 okay this is about the left hand limit now i need to check the right hand limit also so let's talk about the right hand limit how do we write that right hand limit mathematically limit x approaches to 2 plus f of x when i am talking about the limit x approaches to 2 plus something like the value of x is slight more than 2 it, here i can say that this is i am talking about x is little greater than 2 which equation should i use again the equation what i am going to use it again the same x square minus 4 by x minus 2 y as per the condition as long that x is not equal to 2 or any values i'll be using that equation so from this one what i can conclude i can conclude that the left hand limit and the right hand limit has the same expression so i say that limit x approaches to 2 minus f of x is equal to limit x approaches to 2 plus f of x whenever a left hand limit and the right hand limits are equal i should say limit exist so when the left hand limit and the right hand limits are equal the condition if that is getting true i should say that limit exists so the first statement is true they say that limit x approaches to f of uh, x exist i should say yes it is true now let's check about the second condition f of 2 exist so f of 2 as per the piecewise function what i can see here is if the value of x is exactly equal to 2 the result of that f of 2 is 0 so in that case f of 2 is 0 0 is a finite number as long we get a finite number whether it whether it is zero positive negative i say that the limit exists so in that case f of 2 also exists this condition is also true now to check the continuity as i say that uh, like you know limit x approaches to 2 f of x exists and f of 2 also just uh, exists i said that the two statements are true now rather than checking that the given function is continuous at x equals to 2 or not what i can do is i have to select an option where first statement 1 and statement 2 are equal so that oh, that has only option as option a you can see that both statement 1 and statement 2 are equal is that's it for today see you guys in the next video thank you so much